Hello, this is Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis for Common Sense as Poland. Mm, we are fighting Kazan, but well, Lithuania is for us, we're not really participating. Mm, we are also doing some colonial expansion and we need to choose another idea group. And there is a plane outside my window which will pass shortly. Mm, I have checked the policies and quantity actually gives a pretty nice one. Mm, administrative and innovative also do, but we can't have too many administrative ones. So we're going quantity. But before we invest in quantity ideas, we will actually have to invest in the military technology itself, because the next level is pretty significant. It gives tactics. And tactics are extremely, extremely important. So, there's that. And after this, we will invest in the idea itself. Oh, also, new infantry. Um, soldat infantry, or... Um, what's that? Tercio. Yeah, let's go with that one. Okay, great. And we're now moving to conquer some natives in Mexico. And that's basically it. Let's see the disputed succession. Nothing interesting. Let's see the heir. He's from Gallery. I'm not too happy about that. I prefer Bohemia or Brandenburg or France. Or Austria. Maybe I should just spend legitimacy to... Hmm, maybe. Okay, we converted the province. Time to send another missionary. You know what, I will actually become the defender of the faith. To get the bonus missionary and war exhaustion reduction and all that stuff, because we are at war constantly now. And the reduction from defender of the faith will help a lot. So our army is almost where it's supposed to be. Attacked by the natives. Search from Norum Bega will be removed and the conquistador is dead. Those events are very annoying. You're not the conquistador, you are the conquistador. No, you have to go back to our own land. Well, okay. Well, at least he did explore almost everything. Hmm, we need some trade ships. To be exact, I actually need to hire another explorer now, because... Uh, we have some new lands we could mm, use. Yeah, let's take the sparks, upgrade them, also upgrade those. Yeah, upgrade, send to protect trade in the Baltic Sea trade node. And you will upgrade. And and repair. When you've repaired, we'll give you an explorer. Okay. Please colonize something. Maybe they're not doing it while they're at war. I sent the colonists here to help them out a bit. Colonial ventures. Technology cost reduction, ship cost increase. Yes. Oh, and our diplomats are... Um, are not doing anything. Who should we improve relations with? Not Portugal or Spain. Not Great Britain. Austria is maxed. France is uh, friendly. Let's improve relations with France. We are allies after all. Okay, continuing. When we have finished um, the quantity idea group, we'll actually get... Um, wait a minute, let me check. Who's a shot? Who is your overlord? Should we declare war on the overlord? Astek and Totonac. We should just declare war on the Overlord. In the meantime, what was I talking about? Um, I think I was talking about the fact that when we finish military idea group that we chose, we will get uh, a bonus colonist. Yeah, but I'm not going for military focus. Oh, yeah, let's detach. Our colonial nation will actually help in that, which is good. I will cancel those subsidies after a while, but now they need help. Mm. What is that? We will lose a cardinal, or we will have a chance for relations malice with the Pope? No. 
I don't want to anger the Pope. Okay, some siege is finished. Mm, he will detach a siege and block this army. Or rather, destroy it. Okay, cool. I will take as much land as I can and give it to our colonial nation. We will monitor the overextension they get. Hope it's not too much. Are we fighting anybody else? No, Xiu as well. Um, no, I don't really want to go into their territory. Too much hassle. I'll just take some coastal land from them. Because coastal is always better. Yeah, you detach. Go here. Oh, they actually got a revolt. Well, peasants aren't that bad. We would help them, but we're pretty busy. We give them money; they can take care of them. They can take care of themselves, I think. After the war, I might split this army in two and use one to curb the rebels here and the other over there. Okay, you should just detach a siege while you're yet, while you're here, shouldn't you? Apparently not. Mm, and we finished the colony. Perfect. So it's time to send the colonists elsewhere. And to do that, we first need to recall the colonists. Hmm. Don't really want any more here. I was colonizing in Canada. That might still be a good idea. Maybe coastal land. Maybe there's some... Uh... Oh, there's an estuary here. Perfect. But it's too far. What else should we colonize? Mm, let's just expand their borders normally. Go over. Mm, over here. Right. Mm, the Dutch siege, the Dutch siege, go here. It will soon be over. They, they have an ally, but uh, I don't think it's necessary to go into their land. Technology, admin tech. Yeah, the good thing about colonial conquest is that we don't have to core the stuff. Okay, I should probably detach sieges everywhere and just leave this place. Mm, you cannot detach siege, you can. Leave and help uh, with the rebels north. Okay, another one occupied. Yes, yes, we do accept that. Mm, and the weird thing, which I think is a bug, is that this modifier stacks for us. See? Plus 200 relations for condemning slavery. For some reason. I think it's a bug. Maybe I should report it. And remember, if it has been fixed by now, I am uh, I am recording it earlier, making a back backlog, so you can have daily episodes. Siege of Crimea is over. Oh, the rebels, really? Yeah, the war with Kazan is doing going pretty well. You only have some infantry. Lithuania is not being very aggressive, but yeah. All right. This is almost done. Let's send you north. We have too much cavalry here. We could use more infantry. Which of those are colonies? Only this one. So you guys can actually join the actual army. What else do we have here? Mm, nope, they, they're both busy. Alright then. A revolt in Tigina. Really? Moldavia? Why do you get peasants? Well, Moldavia is very strong. I think they can manage. Right, um, let's split you guys up. Send half north to kill the rebels. And the bigger half? Well, I know, I know there's not... Mm, there's no such thing as a bigger half, of course. 
but the rest will stay south and fight the natives. Some money I could be using, or um, I could be using on on building marketplaces, for example. But I honestly prefer to send it to the colonies. Just develop them early on. Take all the coast and so on. Then we can focus on our own country. We are at 99% war score here. We should probably sign a peace treaty. Mm, let's take the coastal land. Be careful not to give them too much overextension. Let me just see if there is gold here. There is. Guess what we're taking? We're taking all the gold. Can we take everything? Yes, we can. Good. Our colonial nation will have stuff to do. Core this stuff, don't let it rebel. That will take you a lot of admin points. Alright, you guys will probably stay in this area and help them against any possible rebels. And then, mm, help the newly formed Louisiana, that has yet to be formed, conquer their stuff. Okay, natives rising. Mm, does not matter. Come on, why can't you deal with your own peasants? Still the guy from gallery. Maybe I can insult them, maybe it will lower the possibility. Well, he's better than the one from Oldenburg, but still. Since Austria gave up on us, has been downhill. Oh, even Sweden wants an heir. Let's see, maybe we can, mm, while well, we still have a Habsburg guy, maybe we can use it somehow? Nope, we can't. Maybe you got your king somewhere else? No, you did not. Alright then. We are sitting at maximum prestige, which is pretty nice. But we're losing money for some reason. Advisors and armies and all the other stuff. Forts. Have I not mothballed the forts? Oh, the ones we took from Kazan, we are paying maintenance for them. We've gained a religious unity. Casabella against Bohemia, one empire, one faith. Why? What? How? We're not we're not the Emperor. How do we get this Casas Belly? Religious Unity. One Empire, one Faith. Uh this is a bug. I'm pretty sure this is a bug. Because we're not the bloody emperor. Right, um, if we took you, could we actually core this land? Because I saw a pause that Prague, Prague costs the, yeah, quite a lot to core. Austria might demand unlawful territory from us. Well, they wouldn't if we were allied. They would ally us if we were not at war, but we are at war. Do I want to attack Bohemia? Do I really want to attack Bohemia? We don't even have claims on them. Well, I suppose we could. Let's fabricate some claims. I wonder if this Cassis Belly will mm, go away. Cheap iron. Sure, why not? I don't really want to fight Bohemia. I'd gladly fight Sweden. of Mohawk. Okay, killed the rebels. Now we need to siege this land back. And it's done. Liege are... Oh, that's the Defender of the Faith thing. Um, do, we, do we want to help them? I don't think so. Brabant, Saxony and Gallery. We're fighting Liegemen, Subalternate and Tyrier. I will actually accept. I will actually accept, because this war does not cost us nothing. Albania wants us to help them against Serbia. Do we want to fight Serbia? 
Let me have a look at Serbia. They like us. They are conquering Albania. They have no allies. And what's their war score cost? Mm, 104. Truly really do anything. We wouldn't be able to core the provinces we take from them. We could release Bosnia, for example. But what, what would that gain us? Hmm. Are we the world leader now? No, we're not. Want to help? Al oh, why not? Let's help Albania. Poor little guy. And did we lose the Casas Belli against Bohemia? Did we? Uh, I didn't read that thoroughly. No, we still have it. Interesting. Okay, unpausing. Yeah, I don't really want to participate in those wars, but it doesn't hurt to try and help them. Mm, I am colonizing those provinces because I want to touch this place so we can feed it to Canada. Also, there is a trade center here. Portugal is... Portuguese Mexico is not going to do very well. Oh, I actually lost the province in this war. Saxony has grown huge. We're fighting gallery now, which means they probably aren't supporting the air anymore. Yeah, they're not. And that means Oldenburg is in the second place, but the Oldenburg's air is worse. You know what, I will probably... Oh, we have enough uh, provinces in the colonies to get another merchant, perfect. Let's go to the trade map mode and uh, should we transfer from Crimea? No, let's collect in Lübeck. It will soon be time to conquer something. Clone Great Britain, yada yada. Let me just see what our trade power here is. 14% only. How can we increase that? Probably by taking Hansa's provinces. Right, let's continue. Mm. Yeah, those wars don't really concern me. Whatever happens, happens. Okay, they are actually coring most of this land, which is good. I have not overextended them too much. And they'll get a lot of gold. Which should be enough to let them expand on their own. Now what about Louisiana? When will that finally form? Now if we sent um, a colonist here it would be quicker. Alone? I don't remember that. Nevertheless, we'll have to pay off. Brabant occupy, occupied Gwoguf. Okay, they're actually making gains here. That's a lot of armies. I thought it wouldn't be a small war that doesn't really concern us. Mm. Okay, Brabant. What do you say we get out of this war? Let's uh, cancel the diplomat in France. Holstein, religious civil disorder. Brabant occupied our provinces. We should really unmuffle the forts. Otherwise, they will come through. We're the papal controller, wonderful. What does that give us? A bonus diplomat, more um, cheaper stability, more prestige, cheaper advisors, more advisors, cheaper technology, leaders without upkeep, and probably a lot of papal influence. Mm, base value, control cardinals. Yeah, good. I will actually immediately invest some power to keep that going. We can now call for a crusade against the Ottomans, for example. Mm, where's the papal actions? Call for crusade. Maybe you can call a crusade against some uh, 
mother country. Can we call a crusade against Kazan? Yes, we can. Perfect. Great, that's good. Can we excommunicate Spain? No. Portugal. More morale of armies, more taxes, more manpower, more prestige, more everything. Right. Mm, another missionary. How is Great Britain in this war? I don't really care, they'll, they'll help us. So, still, I don't need to participate. Good. How are you doing on the coring process? Mm, still not cored. Right, they'll manage. It's probably time to finally invade uh, Huila. We need to take five provinces. That would be in a new colonial region. That would give us a new colonial nation. Mm, yeah, let's use our transports, which are located somewhere around here, to bring those troops there. All right. We can actually invest in Diplo. We want to invest in Diplo. Oh, with increased colonial range, we should be able to explore some new stuff. Where's the army? I, the navy I set aside for an explorer. Explore stuff. Finally, waters of, uh, yeah, what, whatever. Go explore. Right, mm, furs, furs are nice, some Crimean peasants. Now the longer we stay at war with Kazan, the better, because we get the Crusade modifier, and our subjects will slowly siege them down. Mm, conquest against Bohemia. Okay, no longer in this war. What about Serbia and Albania? It would be interesting to have Albania as a vassal. They would definitely accept it. Not that vassals are good anymore, but... Mm, I suppose I could annex Pomerania and, for example, take Albania. Albania is nice. For now, it's f still from Gallery. You know what? Those heirs are crap. Those are really... are oh, crap. And our king is almost already 67. I will spend legitimacy. How much do we need? That much. I'll spend a bit more. Just to make sure. Because he's a 454. Four. Sorry, 545. Four, five. That's, uh, that's very significantly better. Alright. You guys get on the boats um, and get a conquistador. Also, I stopped the hunt for the seven cities of gold. Maybe I should. Restarted that. Okay, perfect. Move to Colombia. And we might actually go over there. Get Tordesillas everywhere. Colonize. Oh, where's that? Colonize Sergipa. I definitely want to. Just because of the modifier. Sergipa. Where is Sergipa? Here. But that will, that will upset the Pope. Oh, oh, right, the Pope loves us. Maybe it's one the col colony won't die because of because of the natives. Mm, yeah, we have a lot of admin. Actually, we might start getting some land for ourselves. Probably time to attack Sweden, but uh, yeah, our forces are spread too thin for that. Once Kazan has been dealt with, then maybe... Can we excommunicate Sweden? No, they're Protestant. Right, more well, missionaries. Mm, yeah, free wall. Nice. If we can keep being the papal controller, that will actually be pretty damn useful. And I forgot to colonize Siberia. Of course I did. How many colonies are we maintaining at the moment? 
Four and the fifth is traveling. Okay, so as soon as the colony finishes, I will go to Siberia. We have to do it sometime. Mm, Brandenburg and Mecklenburg are fighting. Interesting. What if I declared war on Sweden? Brandenburg would still join. Hmm. Right, let's just continue. Oh, Tuscany is a monarchy. Really interesting. Lost the spy master that we were not using. Oh, being the people controller, we have more advisors available. Maybe we should go for the inflation reduction. It's going down on its own because the same complies with our policies, but still. We don't have unrest, really. We have some, but yeah. And the guy we have currently is Prestige. Well, Prestige is nice. But we have a lot anyway. I think we can drop Prestige. Go for Inflation. What about that? Mm, diplomatic reputation is useful all around. Trade efficiency would give us a lot of money. Mm, I think diplomatic reputation. It just adds to everything. In military, I will go for level 1 manpower. Because we want some money. Not only for colonies. Okay, as soon as this finishes, we will attack over here. Getting another merchant for that. But you guys group up down south. And the colonist increase will come very soon. Even if we abandon this right, um, right after. Um, lose admin or legitimacy? I'll actually prefer to lose admin. I would not have supported the air if uh, the foreign one would be good, but the foreign one is not good. Okay, free expansion against some guy. We could actually go into Africa, but I, I don't think it's a good idea. France, do you... Yes, you do have an air. We no longer have a truce with Portugal and Spanish Brazil. Finally, exploration finished. Okay. Uh, go and explore the coast of... Uh, what was that? Cuiaba? That's it? I think that's it. Yeah, go explore the coast. And we, in the meantime, will attack your vessel of uh, Huyala. Yeah, sure. So, we'll leave one regiment to guard the colony. Here we go. I don't know what Guarani is. It's... Yeah, doesn't matter. So, show superiority. Here we go. Since we have not expanded in a long time, we actually have a lot of admin points now. Enough to buy next level of technology. And our next idea should probably be administrative. Or we should just expand, you know. Yeah, a royal marriage with France is fine. Oh, a fort. But we can move past it. Right. This is going to take a while. Let's um let's detach a siege. Drunken explorer. Oh we have a lot of prestige, so it's not really a problem. Can we move here? I don't think so. Right, just uh this war will probably take a lot of time. And we have probably angered the Pope again. But since we already started this colony, it would be stupid to abandon it. Where is the transport fleet? Alright. Let's bring half of this unit over here. It will be a good hopping point, let's say. And I think we can still... Can we claim La Plata? It has not been claimed, it's possible. I think we can claim Peru, maybe also La Plata. Uh, Charca, which uh, which region is that? I think it's split between the two, but I don't think I would be able to core things in La Plata. Okay, mm, Peru, Mexico, 
Louisiana, America. Yeah, this is this is quite a lot. We don't need more. We'll even move this way. I should actually start colonizing in this direction. Right. Back to the matter at hand. Go with that. Mm, Cause it's really against a lot of places. Go and explore somewhere else. Waters of uh, yeah, waters of maybe coast first. Coast of Patagonia. Right. And we can mass the forces on the fortress. This is a heavily fortified country. Mm, and Lithuania has quite massively occupied Kazan. I do want to stay at war with Kazan until I get a call for peace because of the Crusade modifier. You guys can actually move on. And our colonial nation is helping. Good. Nice colonial nation. What about the missions? Form alliance with Vichita? Really? No. Conquer Akarus. Akarus is... Akarshus. Akarshus. Ayrshire. Right, doesn't matter that much. Military idea. National manpower modifier plus 50%. A lot. That is a lot. Okay, this episode is quite long already, um, so I will end it now. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you liked the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.